Dr. Shubhina graduated from Presidency College, Kolkata, and completed post-graduation from Science College, Calcutta University in Physiology, holding university ranks in both the examinations. He obtained his B.A. degree from St. Xavier's College, Calcutta, and started his teaching career in school. He stood first class first in MA Education from Jadupur University and was awarded University Gold Medal. He joined Government College of Education, Bardwan, as assistant professor, but within a year joined St. Xavier's College as professor in the B.A. department. Dr. Nag obtained his doctoral degree from Calcutta University in Social Psychology of Science Education and postgraduate diploma in Psychological Counseling. He obtained his training in agronomics and work physiology from Industrial Design Center, IIT Pawai, Bombay. After serving a long illustrated 16 years career as reader at St. Xavier's, Dr. Nag became the principal of Shorto Prioroi College of Education, formerly known as Bengal Teachers Training College. With that, Dr. Nag continued taking classes at Presidency College and Calcutta University as visiting faculty for more than a decade in the post-graduation sections of physiology and education, respectively. Dr. Nag also worked as an academic counselor, IGNU, NSOUIAAC. Dr. Shubin Nag is not only a prolific feature writer in popular Kolkata dailies, but also is the author of many research articles in national level journals, and at present, the author of more than 20 books in this field. I invite Dr. Nath to address us. Thank you, Madam, Madam Rupa, for your kind words introducing me. Thank you very much. Respected uh, Sister Christine, uh, my dear Devika, head of the department of BA Loreto College, and all other faculty members and dignitaries from India and abroad. My co-speakers, Professor Jacqueline and Professor Shujata. And uh, before I start my deliberation, let me pay homage to St. Teresa. In our times, she was known in Kolkata as Mother Teresa, who has actually blessed me and brought me in this line of teaching. And then later in St. Xavier's, uh, the then principal, Father Do, Joe D'Souza, and other Jesuit fathers who actually oriented me to become a teacher educator when I was a student since that time. So I pay respect to all of them. I feel personally that teaching is an art, which is actually the art of assisting discovery. And in this situation, a new age teacher is nothing but a techno pedagogue, I repeat the term, techno pedagogue in a virtual laboratory of learning. And during this period of pandemic, when all of us, we are confined uh, and uh, we are really having a tough time in terms of mental health, in terms of our professional challenge, everything. What I personally feel, this role of techno pedagogue has suddenly appeared in our system. And all of us, without any preparation, without any proactive orientation in this profession, we had to uh, learn it. Because all of us, we are aware that in our field, there is a common proverb called learning by doing. And what are actually we are, we are doing right now, we are learning it by doing. And in our college, other than BA and MA courses, regular course students, we are actually organizing or handling this type of online uh, classes. Uh, courses in our postgraduate diploma in psychological uh, guidance and counseling, as well as in one of the open university, we are a study center of IGNU, and we are running MA education there. In that call, uh, course also, as IGNU has directed us, we are taking online classes. And uh, from these experiences for last few months, what we are doing, and we are learning a lot just now as a Professor Shujata has faced some technical problem. This is part of uh, this online teaching, a very natural thing to happen. And in this uh, way, as uh, Professor Jacqueline has also mentioned, and I was smiling, that's true. We have got two, uh, I have got personally two different uh, Android phones having two different network connections so that if one is disturbing, I can switch over to another. This is our life now. It's a new life, and that is why I'm using this term 
a new term techno pedagog we are not only teachers now we are actually techno pedagog in a virtual system of learning now before we come to this uh, specific learning design in this online uh, paradigm shift let me refer to our present day npe that is a very recently uh, designed and approved uh, national policy of education 2020 where we have already seen certain features like multidisciplinary approach maybe very soon the integrated bed of four years bed will also come and uh, it is encouraged in this national policy that students should follow their passion this is very important and some sort of flexibility and student autonomy is also allowed these are all very common features for this online or virtual learning and uh, another phrase is uh, used here that is right now uh, uh, during the present system of education we used to give more emphasis on what to think and right now actually we should be giving more emphasis on how to think not only what to think but how to think now these are some of the issues coming up along with a new challenge as proposed in uh, national policy 2020 that we should have a skill orientation for teachers as well so teachers training is going to face a real challenge in future maybe within next 5 years we will be preparing ourselves for this uh, transformation and this skill orientation for teachers will include e content development some virtual uh, learning platform should be developed some should be designed and i congratulate uh, loreto college authority all the faculty members for really selecting this type of topic for today's webinar which is actually a futuristic topic and which says e learning content development and this is very important this is truly a paradigm shift for us forget about covid 19 whether it stays whether it goes i personally feel it will be with us uh, lovingly it will be with us for another year so we will have to cope up with that and maybe along with this face to face uh, classroom situation uh, we will have to add uh, this type of virtual uh, learning as well maybe for another year maybe for uh, even after that so this is the new pedagogy this is the new uh, system of learning which is already being incorporated as i told in my college also i have already incorporated this uh, new uh, online learning in our <coughs> courses so it is going to be our future along with our face to face mode this is going to be our future so we must try to orient ourselves exactly in which way in which manner as i told you uh, earlier that this is art of teaching and nothing but uh, art of discover helping in discovery some knowledge and in this aspect if we refer back to our npe 2020 we the teachers have to uh, change our skill we have to learn how to handle this type of online virtual learning system and in order to do that the more challenge will automatically come on us the teacher educators in every b8 college and b8 departments of various colleges and we will have to design uh, our online teaching mode in a specific manner all of us what, uh, who are participating in this uh, webinar uh, i hope that all of us we are aware about this uh, teachers training terminologies so i am using this term that we have to design our learning design accordingly now let me tell you exactly uh, which are the components which should be there in a learning design we should have a learning objectives first as uh, professor jacqueline has already mentioned that the expectations should be clearly stated at the beginning that is in terms of behavioral outcome so all of us we are aware that in terms of action verbs students will be able to do what that should be uh, identified and specified before we really uh, start designing our learning uh, strategies so this learning objective will be the first component in learning design system in online learning next the second topic will be uh, second component will be topic outline whatever be your subject whatever topic you are teaching the content area that broad content area should be specifically mentioned there exactly what i am going to teach 
if i'm going to teach a chapter from biology i should mention exactly what are the outline topics i'm going to cover in my lecture and this broad content areas may have certain sub contents as well but that should be mentioned clearly so after the objective the content areas will be coming then comes the web link now this is very important in online teaching as right now we are practicing i'm just sharing my experience with you that in our ignu ma education class or in our online uh, this uh, pg diploma in guidance and counseling class we are doing in it in clearly in two ways we are uploading some of the demo uh, videos some relevant topics in our youtube channel along with that these are all developed during this pandemic period along with that we have created our own whatsapp group where all the cl doubts clarifications are discussed students are free to ask questions put their doubts clarifications in that whatsapp group and uh, many of our faculty members including myself we are part of that whatsapp group so that we can uh, give them uh, the answer and after successful uh, experimentation in this model we have done the same model in case of ma education class under the open university ignu study center and students have benefited because they have got their own uh, whatsapp group where they can put the question beforehand before we uh, because we are announcing our classes beforehand that on that day as uh, professor jacqueline has already showed that how the program can be displayed and uh, accordingly they can put their questions beforehand their doubts beforehand because now all the materials are in the web so content is there web materials is there whether it is lms whether some web pages are there some blog pages are there some uh, uh, in our higher education we are all uh, accustomed with the swayam or uh, this type of program so these type of materials are there as are, are all of you are aware that even in teachers training uh, in ignu mode or any other open university mode the study materials are uploaded beforehand so when the content is there and you refer to that content you may ask your students to first go through the content put their doubts and questions in either in the chat box or in the whatsapp group or whatever mode they uh, feel uh, free and so that teachers before they come for this type of online deliberation they are aware about the doubts and the problems uh, queries uh, among their students and sometimes what i have seen in the in the whatsapp group sometimes even teachers are not required because sometimes whenever uh, very easy clarification or doubts or questions are put even peers can answer those uh, doubts or questions uh, and this is interaction and very helpful in our case what we are doing for last few months and we are uh, getting the benefit out of it so this is one of the example i have given you from our own personal experience what we are doing this is web link other than that for as professor jacqueline has already mentioned about youtube and etc and she is also from the department of counseling so uh, i don't know whether uh, she has seen this film but uh, all our indian friends you are aware a very popular uh, film bollywood film in india dear zindagi many of you must have seen that film and films are very powerful because the message in the film and the, uh, some uh, actor and actresses are very popular there so when you are referring to any film clip it becomes very powerful and a part of joyful learning for young learners as well and when we are teaching some aspect of counseling in that diploma class we refer to that film and we use those film clips in our presentation and use all the necessary terminologies or phrases or points whatever we want to discuss along with that those uh, film clips and uh, if we start the, our class with that film clips and all these interesting video clips from youtube the joy of learning becomes uh, really a matter in the classroom so that all the students they really enjoy and that is what is uh, the thing what we can uh, uh, do in terms of mental health issues during this pandemic period let let us let us do something so the students also enjoy it should not be a very boring lecture as what we are i am doing right now now this type of uh, lecturing uh, mode in online only is not always going to help show them some films uh, refer uh, to some uh, youtube clips or movie uh, movie clips 
and then make it relevant to your topic. That will be very, very useful. And all of you are aware because all of you are teachers or teacher educators in this platform. And that lot of uh, YouTube clips and uh, film clips are available, which we can refer and make relevant to any topic we are teaching from any subject, any standard, in order to make them uh, get some joy out of this uh, learning process. So this is what I meant by web link. Without this web link, we cannot have any online class. Now, video lectures, as uh, already suggested, yes, guest lectures can be organized from any part of the world in this mode. This is one of the advantage. Now, video lecture has already all the things now uh, is already mentioned that maybe a guided tour, a video tour, a video demo experiments done in science laboratories may be uh, shown. So in this way, we can use this video uh, lecture with demo, experimentation, guided tour, uh, visit to some places of interest, and show the video to the students. And then we can come back to uh, discussing that or explaining uh, that uh, video, whatever is shown. And in this way, we can make it interesting as well as more meaningful. Other than that, as far as the content is concerned, whenever we are talking about wavelength, that uh, some URL, some uh, link we can provide where some content materials are there. Some literature is already there in the web. And uh, we can just uh, refer to that. Nowadays, uh, not only ebooks, some audio books are coming. As if uh, when we were all small, we had uh, many experiences of our grandmothers telling stories during our bedtime. And later on, uh, thank God that because I represent uh, the generation when we never had any television or even mobile phone, we were very fortunate that we had two friends, two special friends in our life when we were very young, schoolboys, college students. One was books, and the second was music. And these two friends, they never cheat you. They never leave you. And these two friends are really becoming very useful during our pandemic period right now for last three months or four months, these two friends are still uh, with me. And they never cheat you, as I told you, that they never leave you alone. They are all lying silently by your side. And whenever you feel like uh, using them, they are there by your side. So these two friends may be used in terms of our uh, digital learning as well, because audio uh, books are coming. They will be just telling you the story. You won't have to even read. Close your eyes. Listen to those, uh, switch it on and listen to those audio book. Ebook is there. Some printed PDF or e-content materials are there. So teacher, as, as I told you earlier, as, as a techno pedagogue, teacher has to design because this is a virtual laboratory. Laboratory doesn't mean always a science laboratory or a laboratory in the IITs or in medical college or engineering colleges or technology universities. No. Laboratory is a place where we learn. So a techno pedagogue, a teacher, should be designing that laboratory, should be bringing the content material handy, useful for the learners in order to learn that content what you are supposed to teach. In this way, teacher should be proactive to design this learning or virtual learning beforehand using all the relevant clips, film clips, URL, e-content, uh, some PDF file, everything. Because it is a very common question, all of us, we are teachers here, and we know that after every lecture, students, uh, they ask a very common question, sir, where is a note? So they're very fond of notes. So they like this type of materials, and these PDF files are available. What you will have to do as a teacher, just refer to that. That you open this, don't always say that Google search, be specific about the URL or the link, and let them get the blog, let them get the content page so that they are handy with their materials as well. As I told you earlier, sometimes this type of materials can be given to them even before our lecture starts so that they can come uh, prepared in our class as we have experienced in our online classes very recently in, uh, as I told you earlier, in IGNU on our counseling uh, diploma class, that students, they are coming with uh, questions because they have already gone through the materials. So now the design uh, of this online or this virtual teaching is bound to change from our face-to-face -face mode. 
Now, in the next component uh, of this uh, learning design, this online uh, or digital learning design, is strategy of teaching. As I told you that this is a virtual laboratory. Every teacher is expected to be resourceful enough to get all these links and materials ready so that they can show and they can tell their students that, look, these are the materials, refer to this link, see this YouTube video, etc. And we are uploading all these YouTube videos in our class as well, in IGNU class, in our diploma class as well. So before they attend the class, they can see this video and these clips and, and then they can come uh, for the discussion. Now, these strategies using web materials, using this type of clips, use uh, all these things. And by, as I told you earlier, that WhatsApp chat box, or even in the, uh, this type of platform where we can have a panel discussion, uh, Google Meet or uh, Zoom Cloud or say uh, WebEx or uh, very recently a team uh, software is coming. So there are a lot of options. So you can uh, have this type of options where uh, common platform, all the participants, learners, uh, they can come together and we can have a peer group discussion as well because as i told you earlier that peers also can help in this type of process of learning not only teachers so they can help so in this way we can uh, have a lot of different types of strategies as as far as uh, our teaching strategies or learning strategies are concerned and in this way you can make uh, the teaching learning experience joyful as well they can get a lot of interest and variety as well. And then finally, consolidation comes. Now, when we were students, uh, we learned a phrase very relevant to our uh, present day situation that in every public speaking, in every class, everywhere, whenever you're speaking, there should be three things. What are the three things? One is first tell them what you are going to tell them. And the second one is tell them. And the third component is, tell them what you have told them. So these three simple things should be uh, present in our learning design. That we are first telling them what we are going to tell them. That these are the learning objectives. Uh, this is the topic outline. And uh, you are expected to learn this. And you are expected to do this, all these uh, action verbs, behavioral terms. After my class is over, you will be able to do this, this, this. this. Fine. So tell them what uh, you are going to tell them. Then comes, tell them, this is the learning strategy. This is the teaching strategy. Exactly with what? As I told you that in order to teach counseling, I will be referring to DRs in the Giffen in order to make it interesting. In order to teach hydroelectricity, I will be referring to Swades, that uh, Shah Rukh Khan film, where the, that scene is, uh, those who have seen that film, you know. Now, this type of, uh, in, in terms of uh, talking about sustainability, I can refer to Lagan, the last part where that uh, killer was there to kill that uh, barking deer. So in this way, I can make it more relevant and interesting as well, depending on the standard of the students. For young students, they get a lot of uh, fun uh, out of all these uh, clips and fun out of all these uh, small uh, movie clips or video clips, and then make them motivated to learn the topic and then finally consolidate consolidate means revision tell them what you have told them now so today what we have discussed is this so these are the things so revise it a bit just before you close that and then finally the thing which uh, students dislike most is assessment evaluation but if you want a resourceful teacher can make even this even evaluation component or this assessment component, very interesting. If you can design uh, conceptual questions, problem solving type of questions in MCQ and uh, make it more interesting for them. And in MCQ, uh, we were uh, attending one of the workshop abroad where we were actually uh, trained to give all the options correct. This is a new strategy. At that time, we never knew. Later on, we came and we saw. We have seen that this is the technique followed in IIT as well, that all four answers are correct. So depending on the most specific answer, you have to assess. This is one of the new design of MCQ. I can give a very common example. Uh, 
from my subject excuse me because i don't know any other subject other than my subject so all of you know insulin it is coming out of a gland called pancreas everyone knows school level biology now if i am putting any question that insulin is secreted from where and out of uh, all other four options i can give endocrine gland as one of the options and other distractors maybe pancreas maybe islets of langerhans maybe beta cells those who know this subject you know that all these four answers are correct so i am not going to give anybody zero so my lowest mark start with one so most specific answer is beta cell the exact cell which actually secretes insulin if somebody writes beta cell they will be getting four if somebody writes uh, langerhans uh, islet of langerhans you will be given uh, three if somebody says uh, that is pancreas you will be given two if somebody says only endocrine gland you will be given one there is no zero students will really like you as a teacher if you don't give them give them zero so in this way you can make your mcq assessment also very interesting in the classroom situation if we are talking about the young learners of school why school even in colleges they enjoy if you if you give them some conceptual uh, questions all of us we know universal donors everyone knows the answer universal donor is blood group o but unfortunately this is wrong in case of medical entrance exam if somebody writes blood group o is the universal donor he is given zero why because the correct answer is o negative even the recess group should be absent in that blood group so if you can make this in the form of a quiz because they like love quizzing and uh, you can make this conceptual things uh, discussed at the time of your evaluation as a quiz master and give them some uh, problem solving type of questions make it interesting let them enjoy let them laugh let them smile at your questions asked uh, not that very gloomy atmosphere like uh, in the examination hall that everyone uh, looks like as if they are standing uh, in a war front Uh, earlier it was kargil now it was uh, it is uh, lay or ladakh no not that enjoy your uh, online assessment i'll be asking you a lot of uh, funny questions some conceptual questions puzzle type of questions so enjoy so in this way we can come to the fifth component of our learning design which is called evaluation or the assessment part where we can really assess test whether our learning objectives are properly fulfilled now in this context as i have already touched all the components of digital learning now a very important thing comes that after all these things this is over say now the students are uh, studying themselves because this is now their own study time and they have got some doubts don't forget that whenever uh, this is 24 into 7 whenever they are having any doubt they can put their question in the whatsapp and i have seen in case of uh, my students in my college in the courses what i have mentioned that's even in the midnight during midnight suddenly uh, the sound comes and one question enters into my whatsapp uh, group and then i answer that instantly and uh, sometimes they give uh, back the smiley sir you are still awake and you know that now during this pandemic our all sleep cycles and our daily cycles are all disturbed and we don't know exactly when we are sleeping and when we are awake because all the time it is all always sunday and every day 24 into 7 we are at home so all our cycles are disturbed being a biologist myself i know it very well what is going on in the body all the chemical balances are disturbed so in this way if we can make them feel free feel comfortable that look these are the materials you are supposed to learn this is the way you should be learning this is the way how you should think these are the content areas read according to your own time you are enjoying your autonomy you are enjoying your flexibility and then feel free whenever you are uh, having any doubt please don't call me you just put your question in the whatsapp box so that whenever i am answering one question it it reaches all others in the group so everyone can see the answer and in that way very easily this type of uh, online and virtual learning 
becomes very effective in our system and as we are doing it for last few months successfully and our feedback is excellent only one thing is missing that is very important what our when i was a student in st javier's we were taught by our jesuit fathers there that eyes are very important we are missing those eyes in the class and whenever we are teaching in the class we look at our uh, learners we see their eyes which is actually uh, which tells a lot of thing whether they are understanding something feeling bored so this is the thing what we are missing number one number two what they are missing they are meeting missing all the naughty things what they do in the classroom they the, the draw a sketch how i look give some pet names pass small small cheats that is not possible in the digital uh, learning because chat box is open to all everyone can see even teacher can see so that this naughty things they cannot do and uh, all of them are not that uh, happy uh, sitting back home can't meet their friends uh, but this is going to be our future you will have to accept my dear uh, students so it is up to you uh, maybe in future some other uh, issues will also come and i hope uh, i could say some basic uh, things which all uh, all of you are aware of to make our virtual learning uh, fruitful in future because we will have to live with it covid 19 is going to stay with us for maybe longer period of time and in a, a, in addition to our normal face to face uh, model of teaching we have to follow this role of techno pedagog for maybe our next few generations to come thank you very much and thanking all the hosts in loreto college for giving me this opportunity to share this platform thank you very much